Uh, I hope someday that uh, some of the young fellows who are coming into the game will know how it feels to be picked on the Hall of Fame. For $24 and $12 million, the jersey worn by Babe Ruth during the called shot game in the 1932 World Series was sold in August 2024. This is the highest price ever paid for a sports item, surpassing the record of Michael Jordan's jersey. Why is the jersey so expensive? Let's explore the story of baseball legend Babe Ruth to get the right answer. Babe Ruth's life, while marked by success in baseball, was not without its tragedies and personal challenges. These challenges came to him at an early age. What was his life like as a child? Let's find out. George Herman Ruth Jr., better known as Babe Ruth, was born on February 6, 1895, in Baltimore, Maryland, in the United States of America. Growing up in a home that was impoverished and of the working class, he had numerous challenges. His mother, Catherine Schamberger, and his father, George Herman Ruth Sr., were both immigrants from Germany. The milieu that Ruth's family lived and worked in, which was a tiny bar that his parents operated, was a significant factor in shaping his boyhood. Ruth had a reputation for being a mischievous child and struggled with discipline when she was younger. He frequently missed school and engaged in activities that were detrimental to his health. St. Mary's Industrial School for Boys was a reform school for children from underprivileged backgrounds. Ruth's parents were unable to maintain control over him, so they put him there. There, he received an education from monks and started learning how to play baseball, which caused a significant transformation in his life. As Ruth progressed through her life, St. Mary's Industrial School became a significant institution. There, he was placed under the watchful eye of Brother Matthias, a priest who was both harsh and kind. Ruth was taught how to play baseball by his brother Matthias, who saw his talent in the sport and mentored him in the areas of pitching and hitting. As a result of the commitment and direction that he got at the school, Ruth frequently cited Brother Matthias as the person who had the most significant impact on his professional life. At that location, he has shown remarkable aptitude, particularly in the role of pitcher. Following her departure from the camp, Ruth committed to playing for the junior high school team, where she soon garnered the attention of scouts. In February 1914, Ruth signed a contract with the Baltimore Orioles, a minor league baseball team. This was a significant turning point in his career because not only did he receive official instruction, but he also got the opportunity to display his ability on the field. At the time of his signing with the Boston Red Sox in July of that year, he had only spent a brief period of time playing with the Baltimore Orioles. In point of fact, Ruth was only with the Orioles for a single season, but within that little period of time, he has shown the kind of exceptional talent that led to his move to the more powerful organization. Following an outstanding season with the Orioles in 1914, Ruth signed a contract with the Boston Red Sox for a salary of around $1,500 per year. In the beginning, he was recognized as a fantastic pitcher, and he had several outstanding performances in that function. A total of nine games were pitched by Ruth during his debut season with the Red Sox, and he finished with a winning percentage of 2 a one on the other hand, what made him stand out even more was his hitting skill, which was a talent that he established quite early. Over the subsequent years, Ruth began to shift his focus from being a starting pitcher to being a power batter. Over the course of the 1919 season, he had hit 29 home runs, which was a record at the time. Not only did this metamorphosis establish Ruth as a celebrity, but it also altered the way baseball was played. Ruth was the first player to introduce power hitting and power to the game, which paved the way for future generations of players to follow. Throughout his career with the Boston Red Sox, Ruth enjoyed some great seasons, including three World Series victories, 1915, 1916, and 1918. This was Ruth's first title with the Red Sox, and it came in the 1915 tournament for the World Series. During this particular series, the Boston Red Sox prevailed over the Philadelphia Phillies. In the course of two games, Ruth tossed 14 innings, leaving a mark with a high success rate and contributing to the home team's victory by a score of 4-1. Moreover, Ruth proceeded to demonstrate his skill throughout the 1916 World Series, which was played between the Red Sox and the Brooklyn Robins that season. Within the series, he pitched two games, with one of them being the game that decided the series. Ruth was a standout performer, contributing to the team's victory by a score of 4-1, 
and becoming one of the team's primary pitchers. This was Ruth's final triumph with the Boston Red Sox before he went on to the New York Yankees. He had previously won the World Series in 1918, and this was his seventh and final win with the Red Sox. Ruth had an outstanding effort in this series, which helped the Red Sox win 4-2 over the Chicago Cubs. The series was played between the two teams. Nevertheless, he became a baseball legend after joining the New York Yankees in 1920. It was during his tenure with the Yankees that he proceeded to leave his imprint and eventually became one of the finest players in the history of the sport. What were the steps that Babe Ruth took to build his career? Let's take a look at the path that he travels. During the year 1919, a remarkable deal took place in which Babe Ruth was transferred from the Boston Red Sox to the New York Yankees. In what is sometimes referred to as the Curse of the Bambino, the Red Sox sold Ruth for a sum of $100,000. And this move is thought to have been a contributing factor in the Red Sox's collapse in the decades that followed. After nearly 86 years, the Red Sox would finally be victorious in the World Series. While everything was going on, Ruth became a baseball legend and one of the most prominent stars for the Yankees. In 1919, the Red Sox sold Babe Ruth mostly for financial reasons, which is perhaps the most horrible explanation for this tragic cause. Due in large part to the effects that World War I had on the sports industry, the Red Sox found themselves in a precarious financial situation following the conclusion of the 1918 season. In order to pay off their obligations, the team made the decision to sell Ruth to the New York Yankees for the sum of $100,000, which was a significant amount at the time. A shift in the management and strategy of the team was reflected in the decision, in addition to the financial considerations that were taken into account. The new owner of the Red Sox, Harry Frazee, was searching for ways to improve the team's financial condition. Selling Ruth was considered a necessary option, despite the fact that it would eventually become one of the most contentious decisions in the history of sports. Ruth had an outstanding career with the New York Yankees and left an indelible mark on the sport of baseball. As a result of his record-breaking performance in 1920, he established a new benchmark for the number of home runs hit in a season. Only one year later, in 1921, Babe Ruth continued to display his amazing skill on the baseball field, making it a year that would go down in history as one of the most memorable years of his career. Ruth set a new record for home runs during this season, hitting 59 of them, which was a record at the time. He also broke his mark in 1920. This achievement not only elevated him to the position of most excellent player for the New York Yankees, but it also elevated him to the position of one of the most iconic figures in the history of American sports. In addition, Ruth was honored with the title of Most Valuable Player MVP of the American League in 1921, which was the very first time in his career that he was the recipient of this accolade. In spite of the fact that they were defeated by the New York Giants in the World Series, the New York Yankees were able to capture the American League championship in 1921 because of the heroics of Ruth. 1927 was a year that Babe Ruth lived to the fullest as he left an indelible stamp on the annals of baseball history. It was during this season that Ruth hit a record 60 home runs, which marked a turning point and sparked baseball fever in the United States population. After 34 years, this record was finally broken by Roger Maris in the year 1961. The Sultan of Swat was the nickname given to Babe Ruth, who was not only a fantastic player, but also a significant cultural icon during this time period. The development of this sport was aided by his popularity, which helped bring big audiences to the stadium and contributed to the growth of the sport. Ruth's outstanding achievements were a significant factor in the New York Yankees' victory in the World Series in the same year, which was their third straight World Series victory. Because of his outgoing lifestyle and captivating demeanor, he became one of the most renowned players in the history of baseball. This was not only due to the fact that he hit home runs, but also because of his flamboyant lifestyle. Ruth had a number of beautiful triumphs throughout the course of the years, but 1932 was a year that stands out as genuinely remarkable. So what took place? Are you able to recall? Babe Ruth's career was marked by several significant moments, the most notable of which was the called shot in the World Series in 1932. Ruth hit a memorable home run on October 8, 1932, during a game between the New York Yankees and the Chicago Cubs at Wrigley Field. 
Many people think that he pointed toward the spectators before hitting the home shot. In spite of the fact that there is some debate over whether or not he truly pointed, the moment has become an essential component of baseball history, since it is seen as a representation of Ruth's self-assurance and ability. Ruth had another excellent season in 1932, ending with 41 home runs and leading the Yankees to their fourth consecutive World Series win. Ruth's accomplishments in 1932 were similar to those of the previous year. An important turning point in Ruth's career occurred during this season, despite the fact that the Yankees ultimately prevailed in the championship game. Ruth was subjected to an increasing amount of pressure from both the media and fans. Ruth became one of the most renowned sports characters in the United States as a result of the called shot event, which to this day continues to be discussed. During the course of his successful career as a baseball player, Babe Ruth was honored with several prestigious prizes and distinctions, which solidified his position in the annals of baseball's history. Ruth was honored with the most valuable player title in the American League in 1923, in acknowledgement of the remarkable accomplishments he had accomplished during that season. Additionally, in 1936, he was one of the first individuals to be admitted into the Baseball Hall of Fame in its first year of existence. Other luminaries like Ty Cobb and Honus Wagner were also presented with the honor of being inducted into the hall. Not only is this accolade a testimony to his inherent brilliance, but it is also a monument to the invaluable contributions he has made to the sport. Ruth established a record that would not be surpassed until Hank Aaron broke it in 1974. Ruth finished his career with a total of 714 home runs, which was a record that remains unbroken. Not only did this record serve as evidence of his exceptional hitting talent, but it also had a significant influence on baseball, contributing to the increase in the prominence of this sport within the culture of American sports enthusiasts. There were significant shifts in both Babe Ruth's professional and personal life during his last years. For a brief period following his retirement in 1935, Ruth served as the manager of the New York Yankees. However, the position did not bring him a great deal of success. Even though Ruth has had such a successful job, his personal life is incredibly complicated and fascinating. Consequently, what was the nature of Babe Ruth's private life? In what ways was it both intriguing and complicated? Let's do what we're doing. The family life of Babe Ruth was filled with upheaval and complication, beginning with his early relationships and continuing through his life with his two marriages and children. In 1914, when Babe Ruth was just beginning his career as a baseball player, he tied the knot for the first time with Helen Woodford. When Ruth was still a young player for the Baltimore Orioles, they encountered each other. Their marriage was viewed as a union between a famous athlete and a lady who came from a more average background. Helen was young and beautiful, and their relationship was known to be a union. At first, it appeared that they were content with their marriage. However, as Ruth became more famous with the Boston Red Sox, the limelight began to put a strain on their relationship. Helen was forced to deal with the media attention and gossip that surrounded Ruth, in addition to the flamboyant lifestyle that Ruth led, which included drinking and revelry that lasted until late throughout the night. At this time, Ruth and Helen welcomed a daughter into the world who they called Dorothy. As a result of his hectic playing schedule, Ruth was frequently gone from his daughter, despite the fact that he was a good and loving father. This absence caused their marriage to become even more strained. Because Ruth was beginning to experience mental stress as a result of the expectations that come with popularity, the relationship between Ruth and Helen progressively grew increasingly tense. After spending many years together but not being content with their relationship, the couple decided to split in 1926. Ruth frequently lapsed into harmful habits, but Helen experienced feelings of loneliness and abandonment. As a result of the divorce, Helen Woodford had both financial and emotional challenges. In 1929, not much time had passed before she was sadly killed in a fire. A profound impression was made on Ruth as a result of this loss, and he was very upset by the passing of his first wife, who had been there for him during the early years of his professional career. The year 1929 saw the beginning of Babe Ruth's second marriage, which was to Claire Hodgson, a stunning and brilliant woman. The moment Ruth and Claire first met, Ruth was immediately drawn to Claire, who was a well-known actress and model at the time. Even though the pair tied the knot in a modest ceremony, 
Ruth's life as a married woman was shaped by the glare of celebrity and the difficulties she encountered. Throughout the entirety of their marriage, Claire was a significant contributor to Ruth's career management and also assisted him in coping with the demands that come with celebrity. They had two daughters, whose names were Hannah and Dorothy. Claire was a devoted mother who was always there for her husband, while he was going through challenging times. In spite of the fact that Ruth was notorious for his promiscuous lifestyle, Claire made it a point to continuously strive to keep the family environment warm and joyful. She frequently assisted Ruth in maintaining his public image and urged him to perform volunteer work for charitable organizations. Despite the fact that their marriage was founded on a foundation of love and support, it was not without its difficulties. Because Ruth was so easily attracted to partying and partying, their relationship was put under a lot of strain as a result. Claire, on the other hand, showed patience and succeeded in finding solutions to these problems. In addition, Claire was instrumental in ensuring that Ruth's legacy would be preserved following his passing in 1948. For a considerable amount of time, she devoted herself to safeguarding and preserving the legacy of her husband. This included establishing philanthropic organizations and arranging events to celebrate his accomplishments. As an additional point of interest, Babe Ruth was not only well known for his accomplishments on the baseball field, but he was also well known for his free-spirited, colorful, and occasionally controversial way of life. Is that the case? It was well known that Ruth had a deep and abiding passion for food, particularly pizza, hot dogs, and other types of fast food. Overindulging was a common occurrence for him, which occasionally resulted in his receiving criticism for his bad eating habits. To improve his health before playing, he reportedly had 12 hot dogs and 8 bottles of Coke in a single afternoon. This is one of the most well-known pieces of information about him. Not only did Ruth's eating habits have an impact on his health, but they also contributed to the perception of him as a guy who was unrestricted and free-spirited. Not only did Ruth have a problem with eating, but she also enjoyed the party life. It was common for Babe Ruth to go to parties and have a good time with his friends and co-workers. People knew him as someone who enjoyed going out and partying, as well as having a good time. Not only did he use these events as a place to unwind, but they also provided him with the chance to interact with other well-known figures in the larger community. At one point in time, Ruth said that he believed baseball to be a component of his life, but that he also placed equal importance on his life off of the field. Ruth's romantic life, on the other hand, was not only exceedingly convoluted, but also quite entertaining because of it. His love scandals caused him to have several romantic connections, and he was chastised for them. Even though he was married to Helen, there were persistent rumors that Ruth had several extramarital affairs. Because of this, he became the subject of several conversations and speculations about him in the media. On the other hand, Ruth was always able to uphold his reputation in the public light, even though his private life was occasionally subjected to an excessive amount of scrutiny. Babe Ruth led a wealthy lifestyle, one in which he frequently spent his money on luxury things, such as automobiles and jewelry. It was a pastime of his to collect automobiles, and he frequently drove the most costly automobiles available at the time. In addition to this, Ruth made investments in a variety of enterprises, one of which was the food and beverage sector. His free-spirited lifestyle was mirrored in many of these ventures, even though many of them did not achieve unprecedented levels of success. The way of life that Ruth led established an identifiable image, one that was connected to a powerful personality and independence. Not only did he become a legend in the sport of baseball, but he also became a symbol of the energy of the Roaring Twenties in many aspects of American society. Babe Ruth was a kind and loving individual despite the criticism and outrage that surrounded her extravagant way of living. What was the nature of Babe Ruth's humanitarian work? Let's investigate the other side of him, shall we? To display his charity, Babe Ruth participated in a variety of activities that involved supporting children and assisting youngsters who were unwell or in need, to enhance the facilities and provide better treatment for sick children. Ruth donated thousands of dollars to several hospitals and organizations that serve children, including St. Vincent's Children's Hospital in New York. He had the belief that every kid should be given the opportunity to have a life that was both healthy and joyful. There were a great number of youngsters who were battling illnesses, 
and his assistance helped enhance the treatment circumstances for them. These donations did not include just monetary contributions. Rather, they also included his appearance at activities that were held to raise money. As an additional point of interest, Babe Ruth frequently took part in charitable activities that raised funds for children. One of the most notable occurrences was the charity match that he took part in following World War I. The purpose of the match was to generate funds for organizations that served the welfare of children. These games drew a large number of other athletes and performers, which resulted in an environment that was filled with excitement and hope for children who were in need. In a few of the charitable games that he took part in, the amount of money that was raised was in the millions of dollars. For instance, in 1923, a charity game brought in $100,000, which is roughly comparable to $1.5 million in today's currency for the benefit of charitable organizations and children living in poverty. The efforts of Babe Ruth did not end with the collection of funds. He also made frequent appearances at athletic events and schools to motivate young people. Specifically, he highlighted the significance of physical activity and sportsmanship, and he encouraged them to take part in sports, particularly baseball. The children's assistance funds that were founded in Babe Ruth's memory continue to carry on the charity legacy that he left behind. The Babe Ruth Foundation, which is dedicated to assisting children and families that are struggling financially, is one of the most well-known organizations. In addition to providing financial assistance, the Foundation also organizes programs in the fields of sports, arts and education to enhance the options available to less fortunate children. For the purpose of providing chances to children who are less fortunate, the Babe Ruth Foundation has contributed millions of dollars to activities that benefit children, as well as educational and athletic endeavors. The awful fact is that he went away at the age of 53, which is a figure that is regrettable for a legend. When did Babe Ruth pass away? And what was the reason behind this? Well, let's find out. Babe Ruth lost his fight with throat cancer on August 16, 1948, following a protracted period of treatment. During the months preceding his passing, his health had been deteriorating to the point that he was taken to Memorial Hospital in New York. Ruth had been admitted to the hospital on many occasions owing to her poor health, which included medical complications connected to cancer as well as symptoms associated with diabetes, alcohol, and an unhealthy diet. Around the middle of 1946, Ruth received a diagnosis of throat cancer. Immediately after receiving his diagnosis, he went through many therapies, one of which was radiation therapy. Nevertheless, the disease had further progressed, which had a significant impact on his general health. His drinking and eating habits, along with other aspects of his lifestyle, were factors that led to Ruth's declining health. Throughout his career, he was notorious for consuming foods that were high in calories and drinking a lot of alcohol, both of which may have had a role in the development of his health issues in later years. Ruth had a decline in his health throughout the latter months of his life. Even though his health was deteriorating, he professed hope in interviews that took place before he passed away. He was hospitalized. Ruth's passing sent shockwaves across the sports community and resonated with millions of fans. Thousands of people came to pay their respects during his funeral, and many others expressed their profound sorrow for the baseball hero by writing letters of sympathy. Ruth is recognized as one of the greatest baseball players in the history of the game, a Gate of Heaven cemetery in Hawthorne, New York, where he was laid to rest. And now, let's return to the tale of the garment that Babe Ruth wore. Why does the garment cost such a high price? Who is the owner of it after the auction? In a moment, the response will be provided. As a consequence of the jersey that Babe Ruth wore during the iconic called shot game that took place during the 1932 World Series, he has received global fame in recent years. This is because the shirt was worn throughout the game. Since the jersey of Babe Ruth, a former baseball player from the United States, was sold at an auction for up to 24.12 million United States dollars, it is considered to be one of the most valuable pieces of sports memorabilia on the whole planet. It was while wearing this jersey that Babe Ruth, a former player for the New York Yankees, hit one of the most incredible home runs in the history of baseball. With a price tag of 24.12 million United States dollars and counting, this specific item has become one of the most valuable sports collectibles in the world. It is now being sold at its current price. 
According to CNN, the tense auction that took place on August 24th and lasted for more than six hours culminated in an unprecedented amount of money being placed on Babe Ruth's jersey. The sale lasted for more than six hours. At one point in time, the record for the most expensive jersey ever sold was held by the basketball superstar Michael Jordan's jersey, which was sold at auction in 2022 for a total of $10.1 million. Ruth's jersey broke the record for the most expensive sports memorabilia, which had previously been held by a 1952 Mickey Mantle baseball card that was valued at $12.6 million in August of 2022. Additionally, the auction company Heritage Auctions, USA, which is located in Dallas, claimed that Ruth's jersey broke the record. It was predicted that the beginning price for the jersey of the dead baseball player would be more than $14 million for roughly one week previous to the item being put up for auction. This estimation was made before the item was put up for auction. Heritage Auctions estimated that the jersey may potentially fetch a price of up to $30 million if all goes according to plan. Furthermore, in 2019, a jersey that Babe Ruth wore between the years 1928 and 1930 was sold at auction for $5.64 million, making it the most expensive piece of sports memorabilia that had ever been sold at that time. This was the case since the jersey was the only one of its kind. The Grey World Series jersey that Babe Ruth wore in 1932 while he was playing for the Chicago Cubs is the new record-breaking jersey. Ruth wore it throughout his time with the Cubs. There is now a new record that has been broken with this shirt. It was the third jersey that Ruth wore. At the beginning of the fifth inning, he seemed to point to center field just before hitting a home run, which is widely regarded as the most famous called shot in the history of baseball. According to Chris Ivey, who is the director of sports at Heritage Auctions, the called shot jersey is the most significant item of American sports memorabilia that has ever been sold at auction. This statement was made by Chris Ivey. Even after all of these years have gone, the item continues to be held in extremely high respect, while also being the topic of a significant amount of conversation, because it is a piece of baseball history. In the ongoing inquiry, the question of whether Ruth was looking at the Cubs pitcher or anything further out in the field, such as a flagpole, remains a contentious issue of discussion. It is impossible to get a definitive answer to the question of whether or whether the player who passed away called the shot, which means that he was assured of the direction that his home run would go. Although Ruth can be seen making a motion, the video is grainy, making it impossible to pinpoint exactly where his hand is situated. However, it is possible to observe him making the gesture. This event was originally reported by journalists because baseball games were not shown on television until 1939. This means that journalists were the first to cover this event. Joe Williams, a sports journalist, is credited with being the first person to write about Babe Ruth, engaging in a behavior that is commonly referred to as calling the shot. According to Heritage, Ruth presented the shirt to a friend who had a passion for golf around the year 1940. The garment remained in the ownership of the family for several decades. In 2005, the shirt was sold at an auction for a total of $940,000 and it was again resold in 2024. The clothing went through numerous different hands. Collectors and sports lovers alike participated in the auction with a great deal of enthusiasm. 19 years had passed since the garment had been put up for public sale and interest in it quickly increased. There was a heated conversation regarding Babe Ruth's history and the historic occasion that the shirt represented, although the winner opted to keep his name a secret. What do you think about the price of this shirt? Is it worth it? Please share your thoughts in the comments section below. We would love to hear from you. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more interesting updates. Thank you and see you in the next videos.